hello welcome so in this video I am going to talk about for each loop so in previous video we have used while loop and I have explained you how we can use while loop so this video is related to for each loop for explaining the for each loop we require the set of element we require the arrays arrays element to run the for each loop based on that repeating element so in our integration we will say repeating element to be as array so here you can see that I have created one payload we will use this payload in our integration and here you can see that I have given the name to this payload is arrays data and this is the array this is the repeating element so what is the repeating element in our uh, uh, request body here you can see that these are the repeating element so here you can see that this is a format where we are going to create a, uh, json format json request in a arrays format so here you can set this uh, square bracket define that the array and this is the curly braces is the format of this repeating element so we will use this and we will use this array uh, array to uh, implement the for each loop in the, our integration so let's start creating the integration so here in previous video i have created the integration that is elements integration 07 while loop so today we will create integration 08 and it will be for each loop so let's go and create so it will be app driven you can create based on your requirement so it will be 8 and it will be for each loop okay i'm giving the name simply so now here what is saying that for each loop let me check so earlier here we have a space i have to remove this space here yeah now it's clear just go for creating the integration so now we have to initiate the integration and i will use this as a request body and in response i don't want to configure any request response body for the integration so i will just print this all this record in the logger message okay so here this is integration page so first we have to uh, first let me change the uh, vertical to horizontal this will be horizontal and now what we have to do is that we have to configure the rest endpoint so that it can configure the request and the response payload so in in my integration i am mostly using this uh, this one fox rest data trigger connection so here i will use this one and here i will give the name start rest and yes it will be the for each loop it will be post as i want to configure the request payload yes go next and here we have to configure the request payload so i will select simple as json and already i have prepared this json format so i will just copy it here and i will paste so in inline i will paste okay now here we need to go for next and done so our endpoint start endpoint is configured and we have this rest start endpoint and we don't have any we don't have any response that's why it's directly coming here as a stop okay so now between this we have what we have to do is that we have to start we have to create one for each loop and we will iterate that for each loop based on the data we receive in request this data this array data okay so here for iterating the loop let me first print the log message i will print the logger start okay and inside that i will print the log message something that before for each loop and now validate and close validate and close and now we have to add the for each loop so here we can see we have for each right so we have to drag this for each here and for each require the repeating element so as i told you this in this uh, request body this arrays element is the repeating element as it is defined as array so we will use this array element as a repeating element in our integration so first give me the name loop record loop data okay not for each loop okay now description it's not mandatory here we have to define the add the repeating element element so in request wrapper here you can see that array data is our repeating element so you can say this is the symbol of repeating element so i will just drag this here and now give the name so this will be the 
for loop variable using this for loop variable we will access this all these three element inside this repeating element okay so here i will give loop record records so just create so here you can see that our for each created right so here this is the starting and this is the ending of the for each loop before this one right so whatever uh, action we have to perform we have to perform all the action inside this this for each so what i have to do is that i have to print the log message right so uh, let me explain how much time this for each will execute so whatever data we have available in this in this payload that much of time that for each loop will execute so here we have four records so the for each loop will be iterate four times okay so let me add a logger here and in this logger i will print the details so what we will do logger loop records create and now i will select always and now here we have to print the value so as i have already explained we can use concrete so what i have to print is that in logger message i will print something like that uh, username okay colon something like that this will be the username okay and comma then we will use sorry user id id then i want to use username something like that this username and comma again user email and the same value i want to use this one okay so in logger i want to print something like that so how we can print we have to concatenate all these three value for concatenating we have concatenate function right so i will use same so here we have concat concat so what first i have to print i have to print user id then this 103 will be the value coming from the loop record right so here we will use user user id and now we have to print the value user id so here we have loop record this loop record variable we have given while creating the for each loop so this is the variable and this loop variable we required user id so i am just going to drag here so now we have added user id and the value now we have to add another thing that is the next one is that comma and username this one right so here same i will paste and space again and now we have to give the username so this is the username i will move and that after username what we required after username we required this one user email okay so here i will give this user email note i have to give the comma over here and now we have to give the value as user email so this is the email now this is close just validate if you will get any error it means your syntax is not correct you have to correct the syntax so let me check this concatenate this one is completed fine this is fine and now here this is the message single quotes okay so here yeah here i have ended this semicolon sing, single quotes over here now this value single quotes comma space username yeah everything is fine then why we are getting error let me validate so somewhere i have done mistake right so let me check what mistake i have done Mm, if you will see yeah user id this is the hard coded value and then this is the value then after the concatenated value comma and this is the concatenated value okay and this is the ending of that concatenated value and then this is the value username then again comma single quotes this one and this one let me validate again again i think we have done some mistake anyway okay let me check here if you will see this is started this is ended and this one value comma this is the second value comma and this is the 
hard coded value okay now here we miss that here we it should be comma so that this another this will be the another hard coded uh, another value from the loop record so here just like we have given comma here before that value so now this is done so now username okay username email and that we required comma over here okay now so this is the correct syntax now paste and just validate so here you can see that it's validated user id and this will be the value of user id username this will be the loop record value and the email id same so just validated and close now again validated and close so here we have done our integration so here we have four record four record in the array so it will repeat four times and it will print the value all the four values now here what i want i want to print the log message is after ending so after the loop i will print this value logger after loop create always i will print after the for each loop now validate and close again validate and close so now our integration is completed once the for each will be ended okay this will be printed so where is this where is the log message i have added yeah this one is this is the log message so once loop will ended it will print the log message okay so now we have to enable the trace variable so in the trace variable we have to add the value so i will go for header request request wrapper even in connection properties if it's not working so here sometimes you will get issue something related that what you need to do is just cancel and again go for same again i am going here and now here you can see load data select any values user id and all save and now again save our integration is completed we have to just run execute this integration or we have to activate this integration and run this integration it's simple so here now we have to active this integration so just click here enable tracing so that we can check the log messages activate and now we have to check for activating this integration once this integration will be activated we will run this integration so here you can see that this integration is activated so now just go and test so in body we have to provide the request so here i have already given in sample so it's showing over here so just go for test so once you will click on the test you can see the log message inside the log message you can see everything so here let me refresh so that you can see so here you can see that this log message is started it will take some time to reload the message okay so here you can see that the our rest start rest endpoint is started after that we have added the log message logger is started a start in log message we have printed before for each loop and in the last you can see this is the iteration and of for each loop after the for each loop we have again added one logger and we have printed it after the for each loop and here you can see that in log message they print begin for each for each loop how much time it iterate it iterate four time because we have four arrays in this value four element in the array so suppose i am going to add one one more array hey right copy comma and paste so suppose this is user 5 5 and 105 and if i am going to again run you can see that this this time it will iterate five times here you can see this because we have five element in the array right so let me show you the log messages i have added okay log message i have added inside this loop so it will take some time